Hi everybody, welcome to Grace with Paul Gray. This week we're going to do something a little different than I have in a long time. We're going to look at one passage of scripture, it's not very long, and then we're going to look at the amazing, outstanding, unbelievable things that we have now in our life that we learn from this one passage. It's the night before Jesus died, what we call the Last Supper. He's in the upper room with a bunch of his friends. And John uh, chapters 13 through 17 outline everything that he says. I mean, he wants to go over the real important key things with them so they make sure that they get it because he knows that the next day he's going to be crucified. So here we are. I've cut out a little bit of it, but here, here's the essence of John 17, 11 through 20. Jesus is praying out loud with his hands, eyes open and his hands up in the air, and he's praying out loud so that everybody there can get what he says. And he says, Father, which is his only name for God, Father, keep through your name, as a father would, those whom you have given me, that they may be one as we are one, that they may have and experience my joy made full and complete and perfect within them, filling their hearts with my delight and keep them from the evil one. Sanctify or make them right with us, cleansed, make them sacred, make them dedicated to God by your truth. And your word, Jesus, the word of God, is truth. I'm going to jump over to Hebrews 10, 14, just and add it in here. For by one, author, one offering, Jesus has perfected forever those who are in the process of being sanctified. Now back to John. He prays that they may all be one, as you, Father, are in me, and I in you, that they may also be one in us, that the world may believe that you sent me. And the glory which you, Father, gave me, I have given them. And we know that God's glory is his grace, and Jesus is grace personified. That they may be one, just as we are one, I and them and you and me. That they may be made perfect in one. That the world may know you have sent me, and that you have loved them just as you have loved me. Father, I desire that they also, whom you gave me, and that's all of us, may be with me where I am, that they may behold my glory, which you have given me, for you loved me before the foundation of the world. Those are just absolutely amazing things that Jesus asked his Father to be made true for us. Have you ever thought about when Jesus prays that the Father hears him and answers his prayer? Yeah, I think he does. All right, today I just want to talk about one part of that passage, and then each day we'll talk about a different part. Three times in that one short passage, Jesus prayed to the Father that we, you and me, and everyone else, would be made one with him and the Father and the Holy Spirit, and that as a result, we would be with him where he is. We are, because of what Jesus did at the cross, because of his prayer, because of the Father answering that prayer, and because of that being their desire since before creation, you are now one with Jesus the Father and the Holy Spirit, and you are with Jesus where he is. Do you know where he is? <laughs> he is in you, and you are in him. And he, as Jesus prayed, he has made us right with God, and he has perfected us, and he did that to make us right with him. Once you start to grasp this, it may just sound like mumbo jumbo to you. It did to me. I read those verses hundreds of times, literally, and really didn't have a, a clue of what they meant. But once the Father, through the Holy Spirit of Christ in you, starts to reveal to you that you are one, I mean, you're still you, you still have your personality and your 
quirky humor like mine, and well, yours probably isn't as quirky as mine, but all of that, you're still yourself. You have your personality and everything, but you're also one with the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, right with them, right where Jesus is, and you have been made perfect. If you meditate on that, think about that, and ask the Holy Spirit of Christ in you to reveal to you what that really means, it will totally blow your mind and change your life. I encourage you to do that. See you next time. Paul Gray saying bye-bye.